What's up guys? So I've had this FedEx package in my possession for about two weeks now. And I'm wanting to open it on camera, but I haven't really had the time. So I kind of set it on my, my desk waiting for that time. And that time is today. So I am going to open it and share with you what is in this FedEx package. It is an exciting, exciting package. This is a new experience for me to have such a nice FedEx package. What could it be? So in this FedEx package, we have a black bubble mailer. So what's in this bubble mailer? What could it be? In this bubble mailer, we have black packs, black packs in a bubble mailer. I don't know. What do you guys think? Huh? A tag, but I don't grade cards. I'll go back to the zoom out. I've got five, five tag packages. Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> so I recently sent in some cards. I guess it would have been beginning of April. And it took approximately one month for them to grade five cards. Last year, I bought a five card drop just because I wanted to see what tag was about. Uh, I find them very interesting. I find their system very interesting. I've watched a few videos where somebody has actually sent a card in, got it graded, cracked it, sent it back. And the computer recognized that it was the same card either through the person or through the, the details of the card plus the person. I don't know, but they were able to recognize that it was the same uh, card, which is really awesome. That to me equals a fingerprint and I respect that. So I wanted to send in some stuff just to see how I felt about it. So, our first card is a 2005 Inkworks Lost Autograph, Evangeline Lilly. And look at that, it's a 10. A 10, I gave it a 10. These cases, man, they are really something. I am a fan of these sleek cases. And I believe they fit in the PSA superior fit, perfect fit car, uh, cases. But as you can see, 967 out of 1,000. Anything 950 and better is considered a 10. So that is my first one. I'm pretty pleased with a 10 to start things off. Next up. Ooh. So we have a 2014 Rittenhouse Game of Thrones autograph. Natalie Dormer. This is a nine, got a 902. I was kind of expecting this to be a little lower just based on what I saw of it, but I was looking to just grade some stuff that isn't necessarily high value. I just wanted to get a few cards and a few cool cases and just see, see what it's about. So I sent stuff like this. So be prepared to see more stuff like that. Um, but I'm so far, I'm happy. I love the cases. I can't speak highly enough about these cases. They are very sturdy. Um, I'm going to have to save that one for last. 
I can't speak highly enough about these cases. Um, that is a 2002 Topps Lord of the Rings Liv Tyler autograph. Looks like this also got a nine. A 907. So it qualifies for a nine. As you can see, there's a QR code. They are see-through. Um, they feel very protective and sturdy. I don't hear any rattle, so that's always a plus. I'll explore them a little more off camera. But as you can see, I don't know if they're generous. I don't know. <laughs> um, I was kind of expecting an eight, maybe a seven. I don't know, but I, you know, just figuring out their system. Um, maybe they are generous. I don't know. Maybe they got to tweak things. I just really wasn't sure if, where this would be. I, I kind of expected um, a little bit of a lower grade than a nine. But again, this is a new experience for me. <clears throat> so here we have a 2018 Rittenhouse X-Files, Jillian Anderson autograph. And this one kind of frustrates me because a 950 is a 10. And I have the highest possible nine that exists in the world. Um, I wish it was a 10. I ain't gonna lie about that. But I think these are really cool, man. Really cool autographs. And I've already sp spoke on the cases. Um, what's also really cool is if you QR that, it'll show you how many cards are graded where yours is on the list of graded. So if this is the first graded card, it will say first graded card. It will say highest highest graded card. And it will let you know where your card ranks, which is pretty cool in my opinion, um, just knowing where it ranks. It's first graded, it's the highest graded. Um, and then there's another category I can't think offhand, but you could look up my QR code and find it out. And then the last card I opened already, but I didn't want to show it. This is a banger. I did send it in. Um, it is not a autograph from a celebrity. It is the 98 Ultra Frank Thomas Platinum Medallion. Got a 930, which is a nine. Um, I love this card. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. Platinum Medallion 98, man. Just kind of speechless on that man i just take it all in look at that man well that is my tag experience guys if you have any questions holler at me otherwise i hope to see you soon and thanks for looking at my cool stuff